at some something different today. I'm gonna be doing something different. What that is, well, you have to stay tuned and watch. I'm thinking I'm gonna be doing some origami. You guys ever heard of origami? Uh, drink some water. Who here knows about origami? If you don't put it in the chat, put it in the chat. If you know what origami is, put it in the chat. But I'm gonna be doing some origami. Let me just make sure that I can see myself. Perfect. We're good to go. <clears throat> and then let's send this out. Bam. All right. Now that all my everything's been sent, we're doing origami. Does anybody know who, what orig who origami is or what origami is? This is origami. Let me show you some of these books. <clears throat> it's just the art of folding paper. And it's usually a little square paper that you get to fold. So these are little like trinkets and they're making leaves and all sorts of stuff. I've learned since I was a kid how to do this. Um, I have tons of these books. I always pick these up whenever I see them. They're like a dollar each or something. Um, but today we're doing, we're gonna just make some cranes. And I'm gonna start with the cute paper. Let's, let's just start with the cute paper, shall we? Some elephant cutesy paper. Actually, let me go with the blue. Bam. Blue paper. Some blue paper. And we're gonna make a crane. First thing we're gonna do, if you wanna follow along, all you need is a square sheet of paper. You can always grab yourself anything to do this. Hey, Zenny, how are you? Welcome in, Zenny. Let me turn this down a little bit. We're gonna do some origami today. We're just gonna hang out and chill. I'm just kinda, I was thinking of what to draw today. I wanted to do some art. And I was like, you know, I can't think of anything to do right now. And I'm kinda like, kinda tired at the same time because I've been working around the house and stuff. So I'm like, you know what? Let's do some origami. I haven't done origami in a while. Just folding a paper to create little paper models. Pretty much, that's what origami is. Japanese folding techniques. But welcome in, Zenny. <clears throat> Painting polish in the house. Need a white, <laughs> a, uh, young nails mat? Yeah, absolutely. But what, you don't like the the Twitch one? <laughs> Red VR, welcome in. I don't know what that means, what you're saying there, second, sec, second nap? It's all good. Welcome in, we're gonna be doing some paper cranes. YouTube, yeah, I do need a YouTube one. Definitely need one. Bryson Lee, welcome in, how are you? We're making some origami paper crane today and then we're gonna, you know, go from there. But welcome in. If you wanna follow along, just let me know and I can kinda tell you guys the steps. Uh, I've been, I've done origami since I was a kid. It's, it's a word backwards. Oh, nice. So it's pancakes. Heck yeah. Let's go. I do love me some pancakes. I just had some this morning. Hopefully you're a fan of pancakes too, Rip. Welcome in. All right. Like I said, for the most part, I draw on this channel and I also video game uh, from Twitch. I put a lot of my, my shorts are video game shorts. And it's just me acting silly around video games. But today I was like a little bit tired and I wanted to do something different. So I'm gonna do some origami. And I haven't showed this talent on here before. I've shown it on Twitch. There you go, exactly, absolutely. Um, I showed this on Twitch before. You can actually redeem uh, origami anything you want on Twitch with me on my live over there on my channel. And I send it to you. But today we're just gonna be doing this for fun of these here on on the YouTubes. You know what I'm saying? Has anybody ever seen a paper crane before? Just make sure. Sometimes it's very precise, but sometimes it can be off. I'm I'm off there, but I'll I'll be working it out. Bryson Lee, what am I making? I'm making a paper crane right now. And then we're gonna go on to like making chickens and seals and doggies, all sorts of stuff. What's your favorite soda? 
mine's a weird one. Oh, okay. If we're going weird soda, I mean, I'm not a big soda drinker, but if I do, I would drink a Dr. Pepper. What's your favorite weird soda? Well, I wanna, I wanna hear your first. Okay, mine's Dr. Pepper. Uh, Bryson Lee. No? You never, you never heard of this? Okay, cool. So we're gonna, you're gonna see a paper crane in a second here. We're almost done with this. Then we're gonna move on to another one, and I'm gonna let you guys decide on the paper we use to fold. I have chrome paper and all sorts of stuff. Fanta pineapple. Hey, KB streaming. Cactus cooler. That's a good one too. That sounds. Good. That, I totally forgot about cactus cooler. I haven't had that in a long time. But mine is Dr Pepper. Fanta pineapple. I'm gonna have to try that out. I'm gonna have to try that out. Mine's Mexican Coke. Ooh, Bryson Lee. The Mexican Coke does go hard. I tell you, it does go hard. It's pretty freaking good. Hey, hey, J Rob in the house. How are you, J Rob? Yeah, uh, if you guys want to help ch the channel, follow what J Rob's saying there in the chat. Just click and hold, tap and hold on the video like this, boop, and then you'll get the screen. The screen will have a like button. If you guys like this video, it'll help others find this. We can grow the community even bigger. It, you know, I, I would definitely thank you a lot. All right, this crane is now, oh, his beak's a little messed up, but we're gonna fix that in a second here. And here we go, ready? The big reveal. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. You've never seen a paper crane. This is like one of the more uh, known models in origami paper crane there is a story about this girl <clears throat> that was told if you build a thousand of these if you fold a thousand paper cranes you can get one wish granted thanks web yeah super cool right yeah little paper models are fun i used to do this in elementary school that's how long ago this is a long time ago what about a heart Sonia, Sonia Lee's, a heart also works, but a light definitely helps a lot. All right, that's our paper crane. Let's do something different. We're gonna put the paper crane right here. Let's, let's tilt it like this so you guys can see it. Paper crane. All right, I got different papers also. I also got tiny little squares. So we have some gold paper, some squirrels, some chrome, and I have some Japanese uh, background setting paper. What do you guys want to see next? Which paper? Oh, elephants too. Make that vote. I'm heading out. Hey, you have a good one, Rev. Ah, oh, thank you for the sub, man. Thank you so much. Uh, you made me one. I did, Zen. I did. I made you one. I made you uh, one of these. If you're on my Twitch, by the way. Uh, oh, you got it, Rev. Thank you so much for coming by. KB streaming test. This is not a test. This is real. <laughs> Uh, I, on my Twitch, you can actually redeem for me to create something like this for you. This is Ray's Flavor, sorry. Huh? KB streaming? Oh, Ray's Flaves. <laughs> Ray's Flaves, what's up? I see you're, you got K-Rock's uh, thing, right? Uh, Chrome. I saw Zenny said Chrome. Let's do it. Chrome gold, cold and silver. Zenny, I'm going to let you choose it. For some reason, I'm on... Uh, and Mac and they responded with K-Rock. Nice. It's all good, dude. You have to switch your accounts. <clears throat> Zenny? Chrome. Do you have a specific one? Chrome gold or chrome silver? And then smaller silver. Silver. Perfect. Which size? Big or small? Big will get you that guy. Small, this guy here, will get you like a quarter size. We can go small. He logged in last. Oh, true. Hey, Miss Painting Polish in the house. You need to switch accounts, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna go with the small one. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a small, a little, a little smally like this. Please go, please asking nicely, then you can use silver gold. Please go, please. You got it, Bryson. We're gonna do this little tiny silver one. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna do another, we're gonna do another crane because it's just gonna look cool. And then I'm gonna use, do another different animal. Big? Okay, Zane, Zenny, I'm gonna do a big one after this. Small, 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 small. All right, let's go. Okay, with the chrome, I gotta be very careful because if I fold this wrong, you'll see the folds in the chrome and the folds do not come out. So I really gotta be careful with this one. 
I'll be nice and slow and very deliberate with my folds. Here we go. How is everybody's day going, by the way? Anybody here a wrestling fan? You guys watching uh, WrestleMania at all? Anybody? Oh, see, look, I already kind of messed it up there, but we're gonna fix that, it's not a problem. That's an inner fold anyways. Oh, yeah, this one's a little tougher to do, but we can do this. Crane train. <laughs> oh, we can do a frog next. Yeah, definitely. After I do a, a bigger one for Zenny, we can do a frog after that. A jumping frog. I'll show you guys how to do a jumping frog. Those are fun to do. I used to do those all the time in elementary school. Um, the, the teacher never found out, but I, I bet if they found out, it, they'd drive them crazy. Because all the kids in the class were making them. And um, we were all just jumping them off our tables. That was our thing. So it was either a little paper football or the jumping frog or a paper ninja star. If you guys remember how to do those, that's, that's all origami. It's the art of folding paper. All right. Oh man, yeah. This is gonna be tiny and I have big fat fingers. So this is not gonna work once I get smaller. On my channel, on my Twitch, I actually ended up doing a crane that was, oh no, it was a uh, jumping frog that was way smaller than this. It was, it was like this size of a square. It was a square of a square of a square, like this big. I'm a YouTuber and I play Warzone. Oh, right on, right on, uh, Bryson Lee. Heck yeah, Warzone's fun. I'm not a big uh, uh, first person shooter gamer, but I do play a lot of uh, like retro games and, and sometimes I play some really funny games on Twitch. We do art on Twitch, we do gaming on Twitch, and we do movie nights, by the way. We do do movie nights, so if you guys are a big movie fan, movie nights are also a fun night. Are you missing, are you making a hundred of them? Oh, <laughs> Nails by Joe Fish. I wish. That would be an all night stream right there, 24 hour. You know what, we could do like a 24 hour stream if you guys wanted me to do the challenge and just try to make, a, a, it's not a hundred, it's a thousand, by the way. I would have to make a thousand, that way I can get a, a wish. That's how the story goes. Unfortunately, this was a story about a girl that was in the um, Hiroshima bombing, the atomic bombing, and she was not doing so well. And to kind of comfort her, they told her, you know, we, you know, you should create a thousand of these. And it was kind of a, a story of perseverance, but unfortunately the, the girl passed away. But before she can create a thousand, uh, you can find the story online somewhere. You can just search it up. Paper cranes, a thousand paper cranes, and that story will show up. And um, yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty sad story, but it, it brought a lot of people together. I made a thousand stars as a kid. Oh, absolutely, I did too. I absolutely did. By the way, guys, if you haven't liked this this video, please do so. It does help the channel get out to more people that might enjoy this. And if they do, hey, this community might get bigger. Might be nice. I would gladly appreciate it. All right, we're almost there. Almost at the end here. Uh, when you get done making this, I wanna try one. I wanna see if you can make one with you just go slow. Yeah, all good. We can try something. Let me let me do this. Then I got a, a frog to do, which will take me really quick. And then we can do yours, Brian, Bryson. So give me a second. Yeah, but we're doing something different today. Usually I'm drawing on here and sketching your guys' idea. LFG Bryson, let me go grab my origi my origami paper too. Let's go. Yeah, if you guys wanna go with, oh, you guys wanna try it with me. Okay, let's do it. I, I will definitely teach you guys how to do this. That would be a fun one. All right, we're almost there. We're almost at the end, here we go. This is for Zenny, Bryson, and everybody else that chose the tiny crane. Tiny baby crane. And I'll show you how to take a regular sheet of paper and make squares out of it. Cause I used to do this all the time in, in school. It was very really fun for me to do. Cause it's just, I, I got, you know, art is in me. Art is always all over the place and I'm all about it. There you go. There is your silver paper crane. Ka -ka! Let's check it out. There you go, origami party, exactly. 
Exactly, KB. John Thomas, welcome in. Hi, how are you? We're doing some origami. If you've never seen these little paper models before, you're in for a treat. We got two of these done. We're doing some other ones next. We're gonna be doing, next we're gonna do a frog. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a frog. We're gonna use this uh, chickmunk paper. It's note paper, you can actually write little notes. It's like, oh, cute little notes. And then you fold it and you can send it to someone. I'm gonna show you how to make the jumping frog. I think you guys will like this. Wow, how'd you make that? Well, John, make sure you get yourself a piece of paper and I can show you. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this with a sheet of any sheet of paper. Let's, let's do this. Imagine this is a big sheet of regular paper because it's the same size, just shrunken, or the same dimensions, just shrunken. I'm gonna show you how to do this. All you gotta do is you gotta fold it like a triangle all the way to the corner. And this is how you're gonna make your square. So for origami, for the most part, you need square paper, okay? So I just folded my triangle and what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut along that. So if you have scissors, you can cut that. Or if you don't have scissors, which I never had scissors in school, I would fold this right down this line like so, like this, right? And I fold it the other way to make the bend even better. You know, the fold even tighter. And now you can actually split this right down the center. Look at this. It makes it a little easier to cut. Not too perfect, but it's okay. Just really want to score it as much as possible. Now I got myself a nice square piece of paper, which I can now create some origami with. Lick it and pass it down. Hey, KB, how do you know? <laughs> How do you know this? How do you know this? You see that? Now you have a nice piece of paper. Now, with this one, I'm gonna show you how to do the frog, and then we're gonna move on from this. Here we go. For the frog, you grab your square piece of paper and you fold it in half. Great start, right? Very easy. Not that hard. Anybody can do this. Fold it in half. Perfect. Now, the other trick, fold it in half again. Make a square. Oh, okay, interesting. So I'm folding it in quarters, pretty much, right? Look, if I open it up, one, two, three, four. I got four quarters, right? Let's keep it folded. Now, what you're gonna do is make sure, let's let's start with this one. Hold down this left flap, and you're gonna play with this one here, the top flap now. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go right in between the paper. You wanna make sure that the opening of the paper is towards you. Right in between the paper, Go all the way to the corner and then grab this corner and push it down. And you're gonna make a triangle. Try to make it as even as possible. Did you guys get that? Let's do that again. I'm gonna fold it up. You can see it's a square. All you're gonna do is go up, poke it, grab the top, bring it down and fold so it's nice and straight. Did you guys get that? I hope so, because we're moving on. Here we go. You're gonna do the same thing I just did on this side to the other side. Let's go. Here we go. Open it. This is the easiest way because you can open it, poke it, fold it down. There you go. You got a triangle. Holy smokes. Let's go. Wait, fold into the good side of the paper or, or away? Uh, you're going to fold it towards you. See? Because you want the opening towards you. So you want the two triangles, the front and the back. As you can see, it's two triangles, right? Front and back. The opening is towards you. Absolutely. Now, we're creating a frog. For everybody that's just showing up, we're creating a frog. If you want to join along, please go get yourself some paper. We need some paper to keep doing this. Uh, any old paper will do. It doesn't have to be a square because you can take a rectangle paper and cut a square out of it. Now you're ready to go. Here we go. Next one, we're going to fold the corners. See how we have the corners towards us? Right? It's towards me. This is me on this side. We got the corners. We're going to fold them upwards to this top corner. Upwards. We're building the body and we're building the legs. Let's go. We're, these are gonna be the front legs. Okay, I folded that one up. I folded this one up. Now we're gonna go to the other side. The other side's gonna be a little different. It looks like a plane. Yes, I know, it's kind of cool. We're gonna take this guy and fold it like a jet. If you guys remember how to fold jets, that's exactly what we're doing. We're gonna fold it right to this corner here. And then this side of the paper here, this will run parallel down the center. So, you see that? Let me show you again. Right down the center, boom. Like if you were folding this jet. Hey, Mighty Cho in the house, how are you? 
We're doing some origami, buddy. Get yourself some paper. How old were you when you started making them? Oh, my goodness. I was, I'm gonna say I was like maybe seven or seven or eight. I did this in elementary school and I did it nonstop. The moment I, I learned how to do a, a ninja star, I wanted to do more. Then I started making frogs, which we're doing now. Sorry, left side, this way, right side, this way. These are gonna be the back hind legs. The horror is halfway done, we'll come late. Hey, Mighty Troll, no worries, I can't wait to see it, man. Can't wait to see the film. You use the gold piece. After this, can you use the gold piece? Absolutely, Bryson, we can. Let's finish up this frog. Here we go. Make sure, guys, if you haven't yet, click and hold on this video like this, tap and hold, and you'll get a little window. Once you get that window, give this channel a little like. It helps us get uh, to other people that might want to learn how to do this. You know what I mean? Share it. Share this video with other people. Here we go. We got the hind legs folded back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and we're going to fold it backwards towards this line. You see this? Right on that line. We're going to follow it. So it's nice and pointed towards the end and we're just following this fold here. Nice and clean. As you can see, look at that. We just made a leg. We can do the other side too. Same thing. Make sure you follow that exactly. Boom. Look at that. Doesn't that look kind of like a frog already? It kind of looks like a little animal of some sort anyways. Make me a YouTube video now. Bye. <laughs> Bryson. Well, this video is actually going to get recorded. It's being recorded, so you guys get to see it later. Here we go. Here's a couple more folds before we get there. Now what you're going to want to do, you got the back hind legs up here. We're going to fold it for, I'm going to turn it around so I can fold it up. I just turned them around, right? This is where we were. So I'm going to turn them around. Fold the legs forward, and it doesn't have to be halfway. I usually pinch them right there. See where those two little pieces of paper kind of meet? This corner here? This corner here? That's where I'm folding. Folding that in half right there. So his legs are now towards his face. And then I'm going to fold this in half. That's going to be the ledge from the jump. You see that? Look at that. See that? That way he jumps, look. He's already jumping. We're not done yet though. Let's build a body. These two corner here, we don't want a fat fat little guy. We're gonna make him a little skinnier. Grab these two corners and fold them in. Not too much, but I usually use this leg here as the fold point. So I just bring him in a little bit. And it's just so it creates his body. Okay, that's his gut. These two guys here will come down. One that way, one that way. And now you got yourself a froggy. You see the froggy? And he jumps too, check it out. There he goes. Jump, jump, away! And they jump pretty good. Depending on how tight this paper is, or how thick the paper is, they jump even higher. I can make it jump and probably hit this camera. And that's a good 12 inches. If, if I had like a tighter fold on it. But you can definitely make a lot, of, you can do a lot of things with this guy. On my Twitch channel, I made one that's the size of this little area here. A frog that was super so tiny that I needed a magnifying glass to look at it. Twitch remembers. Twitch remembers. Twitch people that are on here right now, they remember. But that's how you make a jumping frog. Hopefully you guys had some fun on that one. We're gonna move on to the next one. I'm gonna show you guys how to create one of these guys. We created these earlier, the cranes. I'm gonna put the froggy right there. All right, froggy there, two cranes. We're gonna use gold paper on this one. All right, guys, for those that are ready for gold paper and gold crane, let's go. If you wanna learn how to do the crane, this is it. You wanna learn how to write one of those guys, this is the time. My troll, by the way, the crow person is now scrapped. It has a hoodie man, kind of like a bulb. Oh, okay, cool, nice. Yes, and the tweezers for the folds. Oh, Zanny, it was a pain. Thanks, I have a jumping frog. Let's go, Tom. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now you got yourself a jumping frog. All right, we're gonna use this gold paper. This is the fun stuff here. I love I love all things art. I mean, I've, I've sculpted, I've drawn. I, I, I mean, here's a couple of the drawings we've done here on the channel, right? We've had some fun. We've, <laughs> we've really had some fun with that one. <laughs> we've done a lot of drawings here, right? These are some of the drawings we've done on this channel. And you can find it on a lot of the VODs. 
uh, on YouTube. A lot of the uploaded live videos. But today I want to do a little something different. I want to show you guys a little bit of uh, origami. Kind of changing it up a little bit, you know? Let's get ready to do the crane. Are you guys ready? Get yourself some pieces of paper. And also, guys, if you're not following yet, why not? If you're liking what you're seeing, maybe you can find some other stuff. This is cool. Con uh, constant Constancia. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, cool drawing. Thank you, John. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I definitely draw on here, but I wanted to change it up today. It was kind of different, you know? All right, I'm going to take the gold paper. We're going to do another crane. I'm going to show you how to create these guys. So what you got to do is I want to use this gold paper is what I want to see as the actual bird itself. The bottom wing here can be the white, which is this. So what I'm going to do is going to start off with the gold. Here we go. This is how you do it. Turn it around. Fold corner to corner. All right. The horror bunny was one of the best. Oh, yeah. The horror bunny was funny. Here we go. I'll show you guys the horror bunny in a second. Let's go corner to corner. That's going to be the beginning of our of our crane. Oh, and I have to be very careful with this paper because it is chrome, so it's metallic. Any little folding crinkles, you can see already little dents and stuff. It'll mess up this paper, so I definitely want to be careful with those folds. Here, let me show you the horror bunny. We did this during uh, prior to Easter. That was one of the fun ones. Am I Spanish? Yes, I can talk Spanish. See, ¿Sí? como no, Constancia. If you speak Spanish, I can speak Spanish to you. Not a problem. All right, let's go. Ready? We're gonna take this corner to corner. I hope you guys are there. Next, you're gonna take this corner to corner. So we already did the major corner. We're gonna flip it to the side, corner to corner. Here we go. Thanks, John. Thanks for the sub, man. All right, here we go. We're gonna fold that down. I'm just trying to make it as per perfect as possible because this paper, like I said, a little tougher but i think you guys hopefully you guys have an easier an easier paper to use all right now that we've done that you'll see that it's triangle folded in two you see this we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the frog we're gonna poke it we're gonna poke the first corner here and instead of folding it down to a triangle we're gonna fold it down to a square all right here we go ready i poke it in here because it's easier fold it out and then all you do is you grab this corner look it's already folding itself you just kind of align it to the bottom corner here as much as possible and then fold it down make yourself a diamond i mean right now we're looking at a diamond but if i go this way it's a square and you went laughing after <laughs> nice i watched one of the shorts by the way oh you got it yeah 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 the quarry one my first when you jump scare like oh dude the clown was crazy i'm telling you there's a lot of jump scares in the games i'm playing <laughs> all right so we got the first one right the first square we're gonna turn this around and do the same thing here we go turn this around grab this guy bring it up poke it poke the pocket you see that poke the pocket and then just bring this down and then it's gonna start folding itself and all you got to do is just guide it down. Gently guide it down. Oh, yeah. See, for me, it's a little harder because this thing wants to bend everywhere. Come on. Gently guide. Gently guide. There we go. Five Nights at Freddy's has pretty jumpy. Yeah. Yeah, that, that definitely paint polish. That one was really jumpy for me. <laughs> Me suscrití. Gracias, Constancia. Muchas gracias. Alrighty. Guys, if you haven't liked it, like this video, click and hold on the video. Then you'll get a message and it says, hey, do you want to like? Click the like button. It definitely helps the channel out. Here we go. We're going to keep moving forward. As you can see, we have a diamond, right? With flaps. Look, flappy. The opening needs to be at the bottom. See this opening here? See this? has to be towards you. I call it the bottom because it's the bottom of me. It's, pa it's facing me. Make sure it's facing you. Here we go. You're going to take this corner and we're going to fold it up like this towards the line. And then this has to just fold right down that line. So this is going to be a corner that we're going to be folding into. Perfect. Hopefully you guys are there. 
We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna do the same thing with all four sides. That's one side. Here we go, two sides. Flip it once you got the two. I almost have all the F and F, but all of them are stored in my phone. Nice, right on. I will never get it. Ah, oh, no worries. We're gonna do the same thing. Corner. So it's gonna look like one big diamond after we're done. See that? It's almost. It almost looks like the Sims diamond. If you play the Sims, you can actually put this over your head. Look. Do -do 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 -do. It's a Sims. Or look, it's a bit. If you if you're into Twitch, this is a bit. All right, here we go. <laughs> so the long side needs to be pointing towards you, okay? This is me, I'm over here on this side. So it needs to be pointing towards me. Now what we do is we're gonna bring this guy down and fold it along that line that we just created with these two folds. Fold it down that line. So this guy is gonna come down right there in the corner, right there in the corner. Fold it straight down and it needs to be perfectly aligned there. And all I'm doing there is just kind of making a guide to fold. It's gonna help us. I have played FNF, yes. I played it on Twitch. But a lot of my shorts on, on YouTube are are uh, are clips from my my Twitch. So if you wanna follow me on Twitch, you can always find me there. It's the same name as my YouTube. All right, here we go. Fold it there. This becomes a guide. Do you see that fold? That's gonna become a guide. Now I want you to unfold it all. We're gonna unfold just these two first. Start with the two, because we're gonna have to do the same thing to the other side. Open up the flap. You see that? The white's underneath. Go all the way to this fold line, okay? And what's gonna happen is, because we folded at this corner here, where the two folds meet, that's gonna become a fold. It's gonna come in and fold like a diamond, like a longer diamond. You see this? It's gonna be a little tricky, but you wanna follow the folds that you just created. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. For me, it's gonna be really tricky because I'm using this metallic foil stuff. But I want you to fold it right there to that corner and then down, you see that? And then this guy wants to do the same thing, start folding. So let's get it going. Yeah, right now I'm playing um, on Twitch. I'm playing, what are we playing right now actually? Oh, Resident Evil Biohazard. That's what I'm playing right now. If you only saw the games I have. After this, after we finish with all the art stuff, I'll show you the games that I have and you can see my entire collection of games that I haven't even opened yet and I need to start playing. <laughs> And I play them on Twitch. All right, do you have this diamond? Does it look like this now? Because the other side still needs to happen the same way. Here we go, check it out. That still looks the same. So we need to do the same exact thing we just did. Up, up and fold, up and fold, right into that corner. And then it starts making this fold here. It kind of just folds itself almost. For me, I gotta, I gotta just help it a little bit because of this foil here. Do you play uh, Geometry Dash? I haven't played that actually. I'm mostly a console gamer. Speak for one minute in Spanish. Wow, that's a long time. Uh, well, you have to you have to start the conversation, then I can start it with you. You have to start the conversation in Spanish, and then you and I can have a conversation for a minute. All right, here we go. There you go. Look at that. Now we have the two diamonds. We have the split here, right? Look, they look like little legs. Ah! And then we have like these wings. Look at this, you see that? They're like wings. Keep the wings towards the top, which is away from you. And keep the opening here towards you, towards yourself. I've been scrolling for a while and made my way back here. Hey, hey Reb, nice. That's awesome, that, that's a good sign, right? Well, since you come, you came back to us, why don't you give us a like? Press and hold. Give this video a like. It helps other people find us. Hopefully, they, they like what we have. 10 seconds, please. 10 seconds? Okay. ¿De qué quieres hablar, pues? Por los siguientes 10 segundos. ¿De qué es lo que quieres hablar? En español. Dime, Constancia. All right, here we go. So what I'm doing here is I'm folding the corners. This is the legs, see this? I'm folding the corners here. This corner here has to go to that edge and then that edge will become an actual like point here. So you want to start, lo que quieras. 
Bueno, vamos a, a hacer un poco de origami aquí. Y lo que estamos haciendo ahorita es un pajarito. ¿Cómo se llama el pájaro? No sé. Pero vamos a ver. Juntos vamos a, vamos a crear, este, hacer este pájaro. I did, la I did I did leave when oh, I also saw before I left. Oh, thanks, man. I'm gonna head back out. Hopefully, I'm back in here and show. Okay, you got it. You got it, man. Awesome. All right, now that I folded that, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. This is the leg part, remember. The leg part is what we're folding in. Hablo muy bien en español. Gracias. I mean, I, I did. Uh, I was born here in the US, but uh, my parents are Spanish, so not from Spain, from a couple of Latin, two, two different Latin countries. I am a mix of Latino, you know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Legs still, I folded both sides. You got that guys? This is the flaps, this is the flaps. Flaps are away, legs are towards you. This is what we're gonna do now. Fold these two guys in half. Boink. See this? Make sure they fold in half. Then you turn it over, do the same thing. Fold in half. So you're gonna have these legs now at the top, very short legs, and now you have flaps at the bottom. These flaps are gonna come straight up, all the way up to the point where you can't fold anymore. Straight up and straight to the other points up here. Same with the back side. Same thing. Do it up. This is gonna be the tail and the head of the bird. Grab one of these guys, whichever you want, and this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna actually fold this in half again. Bring them together. Bring them together. Right? Look, we're at the bird stage. This is it. ¿Cuándo vas a volver a hacer directo? ¿Hacer directo? What do you mean? Okay, so I folded it this way. What I do is I like to fold the little uh, wings down a little bit, just so I can make the head. You can choose whatever you want. Whichever looks the worst is usually the one that I, I make the head out of. So this one looks the worst because the tail is not perfect. See, this one's almost perfect and pointy. See that? I'm gonna keep that as the tail because it looks nice. This guy's gonna become the head now. And you just go, you can make the head as big and small you want. I make it like maybe a quarter of it, quarter it down. Fold the head, now we have a head. Now we, all we got to do is grab the two wings. And what you do is you go all the way to the bottom here and you kind of pull slowly, just pull. Start pulling slowly, okay? If you pull too hard, you're gonna rip it. Sometimes you have to like kind of separate it a little bit, but for me, it's a little harder because of this foil. There you go. And what you're doing is you're creating the body. You're making this little bubble here for the body. And there you go. You got yourself. A paper crane. I hope you guys have the same thing that I have. Not in gold, just whatever color you're using. Do you guys have the same thing? What do you guys have? Put them down in the chat. Do you guys have the same thing? Pretty cool, right? Now you guys know how to do one. Let's make something else. Let's keep going. Let's keep. It. We're having some fun here. I'm liking what we're doing. Let's have another one. Let's do another one. Thanks, I have the paper crane. Let's go, John. Heck yeah. You got yourself a nice paper crane now. All right, we're gonna put this one right here. Next to the, next to his brother. Sky and gold. This is the sun. This is the sky. Kaka! They're flying away. All right, what's next? Well, I have this piece of paper I ripped out and I don't even have anything to fold, but let's figure it out. You lost me at the fold before the last step. Gotcha, J-Rob. So look, I'm gonna do it with this guy. Was it here where we were at, J-Rob? Was it here? I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through it again. I'm gonna go a little bit backwards here. I'm gonna take the head back, put it back where it belongs, right? That's how it looks like. I'm gonna fold it back this way. I'm gonna fold this, I'm going backwards on this. Tell me where you were, where I was, where you got lost. And then we'll continue on from there. By the way, guys, if you're just joining us, if you like this video and you give us a little subscribe, it helps others find us. It, uh, that's how the algorithm works, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, if you're digging it, give us a like. J-Rob, was it here that we were at? No, the branding beak. The branding beak? Oh, the bending beak, got it. Okay, so when we fold this and we fold this back, now we have the bird, right? Pretty much. What you gotta do is you gotta fold these two together 
and then you fold these two together so we only have straight wing. You see that? Look. I'm gonna go backwards. So if you were here, you fold it right where it doesn't let you fold anymore. There's gonna be a point where it's gonna stop and it doesn't let you fold because it's too, look, you see that? It's, it's where paper meets paper. So you just fold it up to there and it pretty much sometimes, it pretty much will end up at this point. Constancia, you have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next one. Okay, so you fold both ends up. And then what you do is you fold these inward. So you get these two, close them like a book. You grab these two, you close them like a book. And now you are you only have wings. So you have the body and now you have the wings. I think we're there, right? Are we in a good spot now? Are we in a spot we can continue? Because all you have to do is bend this down a little bit. I wouldn't open it yet. I just bend it down so you have access to these two points. Find the one that's the worst. And that's what the that's the one you're gonna make a beak out of. So this one I'm just gonna make a beak out of. You're gonna punch it, you're gonna poke it in here. Not punch it, poke it, and you fold it down, and then you actually make this. I mean, you can also just fold it down like this if you wanted to, like twist it over so it's a face. But usually you wanna poke it in here, bring this down, it starts making this little peak here that you can fold, and you just close it up. Am I a pro origami maker? I'm not. I'm not pro, but I, I just, I did this so much that I can do these things blindfolded. <laughs> I've, I've done these things so much, I can do them blindfolded. All right. And now all I have to do is open up the wings and then the body will start puffing up. You don't want to rip it. You're pretty much just bringing this guy down and opening it up. You're not splitting this bottom part. If you split this, you're going to rip it. So it's, it's pulling downward and out. It's like going like this, not like this, out like this, right? And that's your origami crane. I hope you got it, J-Rob. If not, you can always watch the recording. It'll help you. All right, what's the next thing we got? Now, this is the part where I'm gonna let you guys figure out what you guys wanna do. I'm gonna show you something super cool. You, I don't know if you can even find these books anymore, but these right here are the books that I learned a lot of these little designs for. It's just, it's crazy because it's <laughs> these things are so old. Let's see. I think I will post to Discord. You got it, no worries. All right, so these books here, this is what I used to learn. I bought these at a garage sale. It was a set of eight, I think. I think there's eight of them in here, right? How many are there? Seven. Oh, there's a set of seven. Never mind. Set of seven. These things are my prized possession because I used these religiously when I was younger. I would go on and create all of these nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. There's a the crane, turtles. I mean, we, boxes. We can do a box. I remember how to do that. Paper balloon. That was hard because you gotta see me do something with it. Uh, a little yacht, a little chair, a little table, all sorts of goodies. I mean, I learned so much. These are very simplistic too, though. You can get extremely, extremely, extremely detailed with these. I mean, there's some paper models that are insane in the membrane when it comes to these. I mean, you can, yeah, I got a book right here. Oh no, I don't, Never mind. That doesn't have good ones, but yeah, there's so many ones. Can you do a silver turtle? Yeah, we can definitely do a silver turtle. Let me do this one first, then we'll get to silver. And that's probably gonna be it. All right, here we go. So what I'm gonna do is, let me think here. What do we wanna see? You wanna see a chicken? Let's do a chicken because it's very similar to, actually it's not even similar to that one. This is a whole different one. We're gonna fold this in half. I'm gonna show you how to do, how to do a chicken. Okay, you're gonna fold the paper in half. This is like the turtle almost. It starts like the turtle. Fold it in half and then unfold it. And then you're gonna fold this to that fold, this to that fold, this to the fold. There you go. And then this to the fold. Then it's gonna get a little tricky after this, but I'm gonna show you. After we, if you get this moved down, this is gonna be pretty easy. Okay, so we got the two folds in, right? Kind of like a book. Ta-da! Okay, it's called a gate fold. 
Now, you're gonna turn this around. This here's the opening. You need to turn it around completely. And then you're gonna fold this over to here, like, the, like so. So it makes another square. As perfect as you can, or close to it anyways. It doesn't have to be super perfect. I'm calling you because I have silver paper. You got it, no worries. Uh, I was playing with it and it ripped mine. Hey, J-Rob, it's all good, it's all good. You can, but you have the folds down, so now you can try it out, you know what I mean? Okay, so we folded this in, right? What you gotta do is now, this is where it gets a little tricky. Grab your finger, open in this paper up and hit the corner. You're hitting this corner here, under it. Hit that corner, and then this will start folding in. This guy has to do the same thing at the same time. This one, so I open both up, and what you're gonna do is this, these two sides here have to fold down here. This is gonna be a little tricky. Secret, welcome in, how are ya? These two sides here will fold here. Okay, here we go. So this is where it gets a little funky. It's it's gonna it, it's not very easy to do, but you gotta just fold it there. That's one. I just fold it a little bit. I'm not folding all the way in. I'm just folding a little bit because it's gonna create a corner. And then this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Fold it in here. Just force it as much as you can so it's flat with that. And then just fold it until it makes kind of a corner-ish. It's automatically gonna become, become a corner. And then all you have to do is grab this and then these two will fold against each other like this and this one will do the same thing. So it becomes a little pocket. You see that, how it's become a, a pocket? And then you just wanna make sure that it's flat all along here, as flat as possible. Oh wait, I just did this wrong, this is the boat. <laughs> all good. Ah, it's going good. Yeah, we're doing origami today. Exactly. All right, now that you got this part, I know this is a little tricky, but once you get this part, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing to the other side. And it, it gets a little tricky. I said we were doing a chicken, we might have to do something else because I, I forgot that this is not the chicken. See, this is the problem with all these folds. Do I have a TikTok? I do, but I really don't post up there. But you can follow me if you want. It's the same name. I am the same name on every single social media account everywhere. Here we go. So I fold it there. We're gonna make the pocket and it goes right to the edge. If you want to, you guys can watch this video back once it, the recording is done, once the lives are done, you can follow along. But this folds a little, a little bit hard. Uh, John, you got it, no worries. Yeah, I'm on every platform. I'm on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch. Uh, what else? X I'm not on because they closed my account, but whatever. All right, so what we did pretty much was a catamaran. Look at that, it's a little boat. But this little boat here turns into a pinwheel. How do you say? Do you believe me that this can turn into a pinwheel? Who in the chat believes me that this can turn into a pinwheel? A little catamaran, a little boat. Look, a little cat. It's like a little double sided boat like this, you know? Do you guys think this can turn into a pinwheel? Because it can. I don't know if you guys believe me or not. But check it out. Ready? What you do is you open it up like this, flatten it out. Uh oh, it's already looking like one. Thank you, John. Look at this. You bring this over. Wait, are you telling me that I just made a pinwheel? Uh huh, I just did. And it was that easy. <laughs> it's also a ninja star, kind of, sort of, right? But you can actually poke a hole right down the center here, and this sucker will will actually turn just like a pinwheel because look it has the little wings that can catch air so i just showed you how to do a pinwheel and a catamaran if you want the catamaran back just unfold that back fold it down the center and open up the pockets oh look it's a catamaran now catamaran is like a double-sided boat see that pretty cool right you want a yacht you want to see a yacht check it out let's do a yacht here we go this, is, this is, gets a little trickier. See this backside of the catamaran? Push this down. Uh-oh, what happened? Well, I'm gonna show you. You push it down, and then what you do is you bring one of these back. And look at this, this starts unfolding itself. You see that? Now I have three of the leaves back here, and I have one in the front. So what do I do with this one? You bring it up. 
And guess what? Now you got yourself a yacht. A little sailboat. <whistles> hey, thank you, John. There you go. Yeah, I think on my Instagram, I, it's just me and some of my animations. Uh, TikTok, uh, I kind of stopped. I haven't really posted that much. But uh, yeah, we do a lot of things on a lot of different platforms. Mostly it's uh, YouTube and Twitch. YouTube and Twitch is where it's at. There you go. Created a nice little, uh, nice little yacht, a little sailboat. So you, out of this shape that we just created, we did a pinwheel, a catamaran, and a sailboat. What else can we do? How about a fish? Just fold one of the fins down. Chompa, 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 chompa. It's a fish. Look, it's chomping. Chomp, 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 chomp. You can do a lot. You can do a lot with these shapes, which is really cool. You know, there's your yacht, there's your yacht slash sailboat, and then you bring this guy back down. Look at this catamaran. Oh yeah, let's go back to pinwheel. Pinwheel. I posted on shenanigans. Thank you. Check, oh, you got it, J-Rob. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out on Discord. Oh, yeah. I also have a Discord. If you guys haven't followed, do have a Discord as well. Also, guys, if you're liking what you're seeing, give me a like. It helps the channel out. And give me a subscribe. Then you guys know when I go live. We do art. We do origami. We do drawings. Check out some of the drawings we've done in the past. That's a nice little bunny. We got a duck that's a cowboy. I don't know why. We just do. That's what you guys asked for. We got an orange military sergeant. He's in orange on an orange paper and he's military. We have Sasha Bonita. This is one of the, my favorite ones. Pretty funny. We did this one for a viewer, Secret. Secret's still in here, I think. This is one of his characters and we ended up just redrawing it in our style here from the channel. This was a fun one. Super cool, it's a kaiju. We've done some Demon Slayer stuff for those anime uh, people out there. Thank you, Painting Polish. Uh, we did some funky no arm dinosaur things that have a little clown guy that ride them. Yeah, <laughs> secret, see, you remember. Uh, we've done some cool um, Japanese characters like uh, Kamen Rider. We've done just like some jokers and just some faces and different little like art tutorials on this channel as well. And then we just talked about making eyes. This was on Twitch. How to draw eyes. How eyes work in the actual face itself. So we did that as a class. A little class tutorial. You know? And today we're doing some origami. Maybe an, another day we'll do some clay sculpture. How to sculpture a face, a head. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes, you know, I'm a big uh, collector of stuff. And I like to collect a lot of cards and sometimes we open up boxes of there's AEW wrestling and here's some Hollywood zombies that we opened up hobby cards and we just do that for funsies here we do a lot of things for funsies and sometimes I give it out it's like yeah you guys have it now it's, it's fun all right let's move on to the next one Mondays are usually art nights yes exactly thank you J Rob yep Mondays are art nights on Twitch that's when we have a lot of fun we're doing a lot of art lessons right now but um, yeah, we have, we've been playing with a lot of stuff on Twitch, which is fun. Okay, now let's do the chicken because I owed you guys a chicken. I totally messed us up. I just remember what the chicken folds are. And we're gonna do that on a gold one. So I think someone said gold. So we're going gold again. I think it was gold, right? Yeah, I think it was gold. John, did you say gold? Is that the one? I was oh, silver, silver. I just saw you, your message. There it is, silver. Let's go back to silver. Go back to silver. All right, we're gonna do a silver. We're gonna do a silver chicken because I haven't done the chicken yet. Oh, silver turtle! Thank you, Penny Polish. Okay, the turtle. I don't remember how to fold, so I'm gonna have to check back and reference it. But once I look at it, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's how you do it because I totally forgot how to do it. All right, here's my silver. Let me get my book right next to my. There it is. This one's for John. You're still in here, John? Sweet. If not, I have silver paper. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna look at the turtle. 
And the total. Ah, yes. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, cool. So this is gonna be a tricky one. This is the first one, John. This is the one that you won't need a square. You're gonna need a rectangle. So we're gonna take your square and we're gonna cut it in half. All right, how do we do that? Easy. H2O, bro, thanks. I will. I'm gonna use my uh, my water bottle here and get some H2O. Thank you, Kalinski. Kalinski or Koltonski? Koltonski. Ah, thank you. All right, here we go. We're gonna fold it in half. By the way, I know it didn't say H2O, but I wanted to drink some water, so I just said it. We're gonna fold this in half. Cool. And we're gonna cut this in half. Awesome, John. This is for everybody also that wants to learn how to do a turtle. I just saw it real quick. I was like, oh, I know how, I remember how to do this now. It's just, it's been a while, you know? Okay, so I fold it in half. I'm gonna fold it back the other way. So that just the crease gets even deeper and easier to cut. And then you're gonna wanna tear it in half. Okay, we wanna, we wanna be left with this only. Just this rectangle. Uh, in my case, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use scissors. Just cause I have them handy and it's just easier. And also, this paper is very hard to cut. This is the silver paper. So, John, you might want to use some scissors. Okay, I just cut it in half. I seen your face in the TikTok. Hey, thanks, John. Yeah, well, I, I show it on other places. It's just here on YouTube. I have to use my phone to do the live, so it's kind of hard, you know? It's all good. All right, here we go. I have two pieces of paper. That means I can do two turtles. All we need right now is one. Okay, I'm gonna put that one aside. Here we go. I want the silver to be the turtle, so I'm gonna flip this around. Pancaker, how are you? Welcome in. By the way, Pancake VR. Ah, oh, I said Pancaker. It's actually Pancake VR. Pancake. I love pancakes. Just wanted to throw that out there. Let me drink some more water. supposed to be a cold day but it's hot today it's just turned on anyways here we go fold these two in half so we're back to squares again we're making a turtle silver turtle i wish it would be a ninja turtle uh you love pancake too let's go that's what i'm talking about hey whoever's here in the chat right now and you guys love pancakes give this video a like if you like pancakes I love pancakes. Pancakes in the morning, pancakes in the evening, even in the supper time. I have scissors, let's go, John. All right, fold it into a corner, right down the fold line, right? It's like we're gonna cut it, but we're not. Fold it, go the other way. Fold it the other way as well. You're gonna do this to both sides, okay? Got it? So we have fold, fold, so we made an X. We wanna do it to the other side as well. Thank you, secret. This is a secret. Everyone liked the video, it helps the channel, you know. Here we go. Fold and fold. All right. Did we get that? So we have two X's now, an X there and an X there. What we're gonna do is, you're gonna grab these two here. This is the tricky part. You're gonna wanna pinch them in. So you're gonna fold these in, see how I'm pinching in here? But look, it's already creating the fold for me. See that? It's a little tricky, but you're gonna wanna make this a, a triangle, okay? Look at this. Triangle straight down the center, boom. We got our first one. We're gonna do the same thing on this side and we're gonna make a complete a square. Here we go. I like pancakes. Oh, hey, John. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Pancakes are delicious. What What do you guys put on your pancakes, by the way, while we're finishing off this fold? What do you guys put on your pancakes? I like to put peanut butter. Me, personally, I'm a, I'm a peanut butter guy. So I like peanut butter and some fruits, maybe bananas. 
Uh, it's daytime in my country. Hey, John, all right. What is, where, where are you at? It's daytime, I, it's nighttime for me. I'm gonna be going to bed soon. All right, we folded both edges. Now we got two flaps, check it out. See that? See that? See that? Two openings. You see that? That's what we want. Butter and carol syrup. Ooh, butter is good. Butter and syrup is good. I just can't really do the butter no more. Oh, not the butter, sorry, no, the butter I can do all day long. It's the syrup I can't do anymore. I gotta chill on the syrup. That's the one I gotta chill on. All right, we, 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 we there? We close? Lena, how are you? Welcome in. PM, yes, PM as well. Are you nighttime? I am, yep. It is nighttime here. It's uh, 8 p.m. right now, 8 p.m. All right, we're gonna take these two. See these two little flaps? I'm gonna take these two and fold them upwards. And you can kind of just guess. I'm gonna go like halfway-ish. This is gonna be his legs, front legs and back legs. Whoops, this is a little crooked. Let's go a little higher. Try to even it out a little bit. This is all up to you where you wanna fold them. I'm gonna turn it around, do the same thing. I'm gonna fold them around here. Oh, Philippines, right on. Welcome in, Philippines. That's awesome. I've been to the Philippines uh, a very long time ago. Probably, oof, it's been years. It's been many, many years since I've been there. What is your favorite thing in the world? Oh, that's a loaded question. The favorite thing in the world would be art. I do love art. I made a crane. Let's go, J-Rob. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we got our legs. I hope we got our legs, because this is what's next. We're about to do the turtle head and body. Let's start with the body. If you fold it up and you fold it down, you're gonna take these two corners and fold them in all the way to the center, okay? We're gonna fold them all the way to the center. Here we go. I'm gonna take this guy, fold him to the center. This is gonna be the body. All the way to the center. Actually, no, sorry. This. Mine's not going all the way to the center. You don't want to go past it because then you've got one. Let's see. Look, he's already looking like a turtle. Yeah, let's just go right there to the edge. Thanks, secret. All right. Next, we're going to fold this down and up, but leave a little ledge. So we're going to go down. And this is where you can kind of guess. It's super hot in the Philippines. It is. I do remember being in the Philippines and it was very tropical. I just pinched it, you see that? A head or a tail? Let's make this a little bit bigger so it can become a head. Or we can get a head. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger, this fold, so it can become his head. And then you can always adjust his legs. I'm gonna pull them out just a slight bit. So they actually are coming out of the side. Okay. Now we're gonna fold this in half, slightly, not too much. Just a slight little pinch like that, okay? And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, that right there will make a turtle. There he is. See, the legs here are a little too forward, so what you can always do is you can fold them out. I'm gonna fold them out slightly just to fix it. Just so it looks like he's swimming. His back legs just a little bit more in like that. And you can always adjust it later, you know? Not a biggie. That's where I learned English, nice. Where are you learning English? I don't speak English much, but I play Roblox, got it. Yeah, definitely, that's a great, that's great. Yeah, the last time I went to the Philippines was I went to, I want to say I went to Manila. Yeah, I did go to Manila. Checked out all the stores out there, you know? Shopping. <laughs> That's what I was taking for, shopping. Cool, there you go. There's your turtle, silver turtle. I hope you guys like it. I learned English so I can talk to my English friends. Right on, That's awesome, John. All right. We're gonna do the chicken last. We're gonna finish with the chicken. J-Rob, this one's for you. 
So I hope you're paying attention. I hope you're gonna learn how to make a chicken. There's your turtles, guys. We're gonna put the turtle over here. Just take care of the take care of the cranes, yeah, turtle. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna take one more piece of paper here. Dang secret. All right, one more piece of paper. We're gonna do the chicken. And this time I remember how to do it. <laughs> I remember how to do it. Let's see, oh, no wonder you guys can't see that, sorry. Let's move this over. Here we go. Let's move that there, move that there, move that there. Turtle, you stay right there, buddy. Here we go. Take notes, boys, there you go. I had a baby turtle. Ooh, Lena, what kind of baby turtle? There's like all sorts of like turtles, right? I had a friend that had like these big, huge tortoises, like massive ones. I mean, in the camera here, I'm making them small, but they're actually like three to four times the size of what I'm showing you. They were crazy big. Like you can sit on those boys. Yeah, I have silver turtle and gold cream. Let's go, John, you got it, bud. All right, we're gonna do the chicken. The chicken. Fold it in half, corner to corner. J-Rob, this one's for you. Have you tried origami 3D shapes? Uh, like what, Lena? Like a cube? A box? Yeah. It's a baby song? Oh man, I got that one way wrong. It sounds like it sounded like Baby Shark for a second. That's what I was thinking. I have green paper frog. Let's go, John. Heck yeah. All right. Now that we folded this corner to corner, we have a nice diagonal fold. We're going to take this guy and do it like we were doing with the paper crane. We're going to fold it along this line like this. So if this ends up here in this line. Just make sure it runs parallel with that line right on top of it. So it's nice and clean fold. Let's go to the next one. Nice and clean fold. Boom, look at that. All right, here's where it's gonna differ, okay? We're gonna turn it around. Have you play, ever played the quarry? Oh, secret, yes, I love the quarry. That's where. That's the one, well, I don't wanna say too much because I don't wanna give it away, but yes, that's a different one. That's, a, that's an awesome. Hamim Saful, welcome in, what's up? We're making a chicken. If you ever done an origami chicken, this is the time to learn if you haven't. So now that I turned it around, right? We're gonna take this corner and fold it all the way to that point right there. So it's folded across like this. Got it? Here we go. Nice and straight, nice and straight. There you go. Boom, we're good to go. We're gonna turn it around again. I have three or origamis, let's go, John. That game scares the hell out of me. It, it is a scary game, I'm telling you. It, it has a lot of jump scares. So Dark, I think it's part of Dark Pictures and they created like four games, Until Dawn, that one, The Quarry, uh, Little Hope, Man of Dawn, like all those games are so, so good. I love them. Yeah, they are, they are, secret, they are. We're gonna take our finger, we're gonna poke it here and we're gonna open up the pocket. If you open up the pocket, it wants to start folding itself already. Look, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow this line that we already have as a guide, okay? There you go, look at that. Nice and straight. Same thing to this guy. We're gonna open up the pocket, hit the corner, if you start opening it up, look, it wants to fold on itself. And it already is following the line automatically. So let's just guide it into place. Not gonna be perfect, but it'll do, it'll do. I mean, you can see it's nice. By far one of the best horror games around. Ooh, Secret, you gotta play the other ones too, man. Until Dawn's great too. I don't know if you've seen the clips. Silver Chicken, let's go, Tom. Or. John Thomas, sorry. I saw Tom and John, it's the same thing. All right, we just folded it over. It's a diamond, but it's a different kind of diamond. You know why? What we do is we're gonna open it up, look at this, and just fold it right to the very edge. Look at this. It's kinda, kinda very similar to the, uh, the crane, but slightly different. I'm copying the chicken, let's go. So what we're gonna do is for this to work, to make a chicken, we're gonna, here's the flaps, turn it around like that. See this line here? Fold right down that line. I was saying Until Dawn was the best horror game around. Oh, I'm sorry, gotcha, not the quarry. Oh, that I must have understood, sorry. Gotcha. Yeah, those, those are definitely really, really fun games. 
I am gonna revisit them once they release the new game that's based on outer space. It's gonna be awesome. And I think they're releasing it in October, so I'll be playing all four games in a row. <laughs> I think I did it last year. We did three games in a row. I'm doing all four games this year, so it's gonna be fun. Okay, are you here? Is everybody here? Did you guys follow me or did I lose you on the road somewhere? Are we at this fold here? I hope you are. Flap, see that? Now what we're gonna do is, we want the flap towards, not ourselves, but away. They were fun to watch. Yeah, exactly, J Rob. So this fold needs to be away from you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, it's kinda like the, um, what's it called, the crane. We're gonna bring the peak up like this. See, that's where it's folding. Up, fold right in half. That's one fold, straight up, straight up, okay? That's one fold. It's like if we were doing the peak, you know, this is like the head of the, um, the head of the crane. It's the same thing, but we're folding it upward. Okay, same thing with this. This will be the tail. Open and fold. And you'll see that it wants to fold down the center, but it's not quite there. You're gonna have to guide it into place. Make sure they're just up and down. You can have this gap, by the way. That's what you want. You want that gap. Dude, they are making one of, about a zoo and where you gotta keep the animals from getting infected. No, and turning into demons and eat you and it looks so fun. You gotta scan them and head to all of them. No way. Different habitats to make sure they are monsters. Dude, that sounds awesome. Uh, send me the name. I'm gonna have to look that up. Do you have um, in the lines of your hands? Uh, let me see, John. I sorry, it's blocking just a little bit. I can't read that part. Oh, here we go. Do you have M in the lines of your hands? An M? Here, let me start over. I'm gonna go back to the bottom here. Right? I'm gonna go back to the bottom. So all it is is see these little flaps? They stay where they're at. You're just bringing the two outer big flaps and folding them inward. See this? Poking it right to the corner and then folding it in. Same thing here. Opening it, folding it all the way up, and then folding it in. That, oh, it's an M like this. I, I'm guessing that's what you're saying. Yes. So you want these flaps outer or inner, doesn't matter which way it is, but you want these two to face up. And usually what I do is, um, these flaps will be the legs that point forward. I know it, it sounds a little weird, it's backwards. So that's this means if these flaps are facing this way, this guy here is gonna be your, your face for your chicken. So I'm gonna turn it around so I can do it. Now I'm gonna fold it down so we can make the face of the chicken. Like this, right? And a chicken doesn't have a super fine beak like this. So what you wanna do is either fold it inward like this or outward. I usually go outward because it gives it a little like, uh, just some some detail. Look, it looks like it has a little like, little goblet, a little, little giblet there. I don't know what it's called. J-Rob, you might know, because I'm not sure. Even Petit Gardenwood, which is my wife, but I don't know what that's called. <laughs> Whatever that little giblet is. It just gives it that effect. The waddle, there you go. Thank you, paint polish. So that gives it a little waddle. That's why I fold it outward. You can fold it inward so it's just flat like a beak. You know, chickens don't have a very sharp and, and pointy beak like that. So it gives it that illusion. Now, we're gonna do the legs. This, we're gonna hold. See how this is folded in half? Right there, that's the, the fold line. You're gonna fold this corner down to that fold line. Run it parallel. Oh, look. You can start seeing that the feet are coming to life. Pretty crazy. Turn around, do it again. Zucosis. Holy smokes. I'm gonna have to look that up. That sounds like fun. It's called Zucosis. It's coming out in a few months. I'm gonna check it out, secret. That sounds awesome. All right, so we folded it in. We folded it in, right? Now we're gonna fold it. This is where it gets a little tricky. We're gonna fold this upward. Okay, this is where it gets tricky. If you start moving this up a little bit, you can see that it starts making like a flat foot right there. That's where you wanna fold, pretty much. Same here, fold. Because what you're gonna do is unfold it and that becomes its feet. You see that? That becomes the feet. Doesn't really stand, but you can make it stand if you want to, just to kind of balance them. But that becomes the feet of it. That's the feet of the chicken. Oh, I should, thank you, uh, Seeker. I'm gonna check it out. Cool? So far, so good? Awesome. Now, let me open that up a little bit. 
so we have feet. This here, chickens don't have a pointy tail. Usually it's bushy and it's flat, right? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fold this in and make it flat. Eh, maybe not too flat, maybe just a little higher. This is where you can take your own artistic eye and just fold up to where you want it. I have an M in both of my hands, so that means one M is the money, the other M is married. Oh, gotcha, M and M. Got it, got it. All right, and there you go, that's the chicken. The chicken stands, if I can make him stand, come on. Come on, chickadee. My chickadee, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the legs a little bit better. I'm just gonna fold it in like this. That way I can fold these guys a little flatter. So he has a flatter foot and you can actually stand. Oh, so close, the fold is pushing him back. Hold on, let's make that fold a little more prominent. Let's see if I if I just tape him there, he'll, he'll stand, or she'll stand. Look, it's pecking, it's eating. Look, 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 look. Where did you learn this? Oh, secret, I learned this through books. There's your chicken, by the way. Um, I learned this at in the in elementary school back when I was in probably like fourth to fifth grade. I had friends that would make ninja stars. They would make ninja stars. They would make uh, jumping frogs like these. These are like one of the ones I first learned how to do the jumping frog. See, it's just jumping everywhere. Um, the ninja stars, the jumping frogs, and uh, hats and poppers. I don't know if you guys ever seen those like paper poppers. If you haven't seen those guys, if you don't know how to fold a paper popper, you're in, you're in luck. I'm gonna show you how to do that. If I remember how, that's the problem. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how to do that. But you take a big sheet of like newspaper and what you do is you fold it like a big football. And what you do is you hold the corners and then when you crack it, it opens up like a balloon and it, it's, it makes this loud popping sound. And I learned how to do that a long time ago. And this was like stuff that I used to do with my friends. And we were folding paper and looking at and we didn't have the internet, of course. So instead of the internet, what I did was I found, you know, I was all into origami. I knew what origami was all about because my teacher told me, oh, you might like origami because you're folding all this stuff. And I found these at a yard sale slash garage sale, like a little flea market type thing. And it was a set of seven and I bought them. I bought them for like a dollar, all seven of them for a dollar. These are, let me see, how old are these? Because these are from when I was in elementary school. These are my original books. Uh, this was made in, oh wow, this was done in Tokyo. This was made in Japan. Um, when was this printed though? It doesn't say when it was printed. But this is probably printed in the 80s. So I bought these in the, yeah, I probably bought them in like early 90s. Yeah, I don't, I, there's no date. And they, they had paper in them, but I didn't have the paper. So I had to make my own paper with just uh, my writing paper and my, my homework paper. That's how I would make this. I would tear my papers up and I start folding all this stuff. And I learned how to create all these little things and start showing my friends how to do it. And we all started just creating all this stuff and just, we had all this stuff on our tables. <laughs> That's how I started. That's how I started. It's just, it's just, once you find a passion, you just need to learn more about it. And that's what I did. I just learned more about it and I learned how to do all these things. Is that the chicken? Yes, this is the chicken right here. Look at him. I mean, if, if I was, if he was standing, it'd be look like that. If you tape him down to the table like this, you can make him pop like he's, like the chicken's eating. It's like, totally do that. Can you wait for me? You got it, John. No worries. All good. You can watch this recording later, by the way. You can watch this recording later after I'm done. So, but yeah, that's my origami story. And that's how I started. So once you find a passion, you just go for it. And you start learning more and more and more about it. Um, I mean, that's the same thing I did with art. Art and drawing, I did the same, about the same time. I drew first. So I was drawing Ninja Turtles from TV because I was watching it on TV. So I would start copying the Ninja Turtles. So I can draw the turtles exactly how I did it back in the day. It was just like the cartoon. I would draw the Ninja Turtles just like the cartoon. And I would just keep copying them over and over and over to the point where I already knew their facial features. I already knew how their hands were. Me and my friends would draw a little like, we would draw Ninja Turtle battles because he was an artist too. He was a way better artist than me. But they didn't, that didn't stop me from drawing or doing anything with art. I just wanted to keep going with it. There's always gonna be someone better than you and that's okay, 
right? That just pushes you to become even better. And you can always learn something in art all the time. It doesn't matter what you do, actually. All the time, there's something new to, to learn every single day. Absolutely. So, guys, I think that's my time. That's it. But the song ended twice already. I'm going to play it one last time, but I, that's it. That's that's the end of the stream. You guys have a wonderful night. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to put this VOD up, this live recording, in a few minutes. I just got to add a thumbnail and all that good stuff. And then you guys get to watch it later. But if you haven't done so, please give me a little subscribe. Do a like on this video. And I'll see you on the next one. I might go live tomorrow, maybe. I might go live on Monday. I think Monday's more like it because that's my art day. So I'll be sketching and warming up before I go on to Twitch. Um, and if you want to follow me on any of the other platforms, I'm on every platform under the same name as I'm here on, on YouTube, Raymond Works. You can find me anywhere with that. So guys, you have a wonderful night. I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.